okay so now let's quickly uh, create our new artifact which will deal with sftp uh, as a receiver so let's have a demo to check how, how our sftp connection works and for that we will be using a, a sftp location which is running online and that is free for use okay so let's create a package here uh, sorry uh, an artifact here okay i have created a sftp demo let's edit the integration flow and once you edit uh, you have to provide the host name and the password to it so how to connect to a new sftp location there are set standards to it so you, you cannot directly provide a new uh, host name to the file and and just connect and get the files right so for that there are few additional steps we have to take care and how to do that uh, i will talk about it so click on sftp here we are in the edit mode sftp source so we have to provide a source and the credentials for it internet authentication type will be username password address will be your host name and for that you can just search for sftp.net and public online sftp servers here you have given the host name and the port support for sftp is always 22 so we will not take that and the login name is uh, username is demo and the password is password so once i provide this detail it will it should still not work okay so here credentials username and password how to do that is you have to create a manage and uh, monitoring integrations you have managed security material uh, and here you have to create a username password so i have already created for it uh, and another one i will show you how to generate the ssh known host let me delete it first and here the host name is basically the username and password that so sftp underscore access and demo is the user and password is the password so i give it password password and just deploy so i'm just deploying the same set of values again and now i can use this sftp sftp underscore access here as a credential name so now you know how to provide the username and password and the address here now when i test it it will it should fail because the host is still unknown and for that so i have just saved it and you can click on deploy right so before deploying okay let's not deploy and i will show you some settings so here the schedule is to recur and we have uh, mentioned it every 10 seconds so 10 seconds or to 15 or 30 seconds you can mention some value here let's say 15 seconds save and deploy it so every 15 seconds it will try to fetch the file from that and additionally you have not provided any directory but uh, what we can do is you can check on uh, this like you can connect to this folder uh, hostname and the username password and you will see there is a directory uh, the, there is a root directory and there is a readme.txt to it okay so these values are required and then there is automatically disconnect and all those pro processing related inputs lock the file for how much time change the directory stepwise and what to do after the file has been uh, processed so post processing you can keep the file marked as process in the uh, idiometer keep the file and process again or move file so for now we will not do anything and it will try to delete but delete should will not work because this is something we are using directly on a provided uh, sftp server so i will save it and i will deploy this okay so when i click on deploy it will ask me for deploying and if i say yes so once it is deployed so my application should be now under deployment state so let me uh, create a duplicate uh, window here to show you so this is uh, security material and we will need it because we will have to create an ssh account for it so how to do that we will uh, shortly see but before that we will just see if our integration is deployed and whether it is already failing so you see here whether it is started or not refresh SFTP demo deploy 
triggered for deployment. Let's see. Okay, sorry, I was checking into started once. So it is still starting and it will need some time before getting started. Log level we will add as trace. We will see what happened. And it is trying to start this service. It will take some time and after that it will show the actual status of it. Yeah, so now, now as you see, there is an error here, which is saying like starting directory must exist and it is not having uh, the, the polling fails with the connectivity service provider. Okay, there is a connection timeout issue. You can download this error message and check more on it. But the reason is uh, the server which we are trying to connect it is not created here under known host. So what you have to do is you have to upload the known host file, SSH file. To do that, the simplest way would be go to the monitoring and the monitoring integrations. You have something as connectivity test. So do the connectivity test with the same host name. Paste the host name here under SSH, not the TSL. SSH, paste the host name. Use internet. Use credentials. Credentials would be your SFTP access that we have already created. Host key verification not required and click on send. So this will test a connection you, uh, to the port 22 with an SSH key and it will give you this host key type and host key fingerprint that was created while testing. You can copy this host key and paste it in a file. So let me create a new file here. I have created a text file in my local server and saved it. So what you have to do is you have to come back, click on upload known hosts, browse that file. So here is the location under new 26 i have created it and i would say deploy now you see here the known.host file is created along with the ssh key that we generated while testing it now let's restart our integration for sftp connection and let's see whether the er error is gone now go back to our monitoring integration part the deployed services and restart here or anyways, it will be uh, re-triggered in 15 seconds, but uh, it's better to restart it and check so that it will load the test connections again and try to re-establish the connection. So I have tried restarting it. Or if, it, if that doesn't work, you can simply go to the application, save the application again and click on deploy. So this will redeploy the application completely and try to connect it. So here, what I'm doing is I'm just trying to re uh, redeploy it and see whether it is coming to the starting status. Yeah, so here it is starting up again. Meanwhile, we can ch change the log level to trace and wait for the service to get start. Now you see the integration flow is started successfully without any errors. You can see the status details and now go to monitoring message processing. And you see here it is completed successfully and your application is running fine every 15 seconds. And you can, you can check the log messages and everything here. Manage view and click on the tracing and on the end of the event you you will see that there is this message has been picked up you see here readme.txt it is picked up and you can see the payload of the same file so the readme.txt have these details you are connected to the sftp using testing purpose and this is the complete data of that same file of readme so you are able to uh, get that file connected using all the steps yeah so that would be it for today thank you